Hey guys, welcome to the studio and in this video I'd like to talk a little bit about guitar effects and amplifiers and setting up the order of your multi effects units and etc etc but specifically I'm talking about things like reverb delay distortion chorus units and you can hear in this patch I've got a lot of that kind of stuff going on a lot of reverb a lot of sustain compressor on there delay units <laughs> But what I'm about to say, this isn't gospel by any means, and in fact, what works for you works for you. And what I'm suggesting might get you off on a, on a right path if you really don't have any ideas. And this works in a variety of situations, meaning that right now I'm playing through a Boss GT100. It's a multi-effects unit, and it has the amp simulators built in, and of course it has all the effects that you could want and think of built in as well. And I'm able to move and rearrange the order of how those amps and effects and what order they're placed in the signal chain. Likewise, if you're using pedals or stomp boxes and going into a regular guitar amplifier, you can obviously arrange the order how you would like your pedals. Now, some amplifiers have an, uh, an effects loop in them, uh, some of the newer amplifiers, even some of the tube amps, and so you can place your effects after your preamp in your in your guitar amplifier. Now there's a certain group of effects that I would call like your dynamic effects or your really your your major tone sculpting effects and those would be like your boost effects, your compressors and such uh, items like maybe even a wah-wah pedal and distortion units. Generally I would place those right up front in your signal chain and those would go before your preamp so those would be your first stomp boxes that you're probably plugged into and those would go right into your amplifier and my GT100 those are the first things that are in line uh, especially in this patch and then I'm going right to my amplifier and then uh, after that after the amplifier I go into what I call my time based effects like my chorus unit my delay effects, reverb units, uh, even things like a flanger because that's a time-based effect. If you have the effects loop that I was discussing earlier in your amplifier, that's where you would want to put these items, your reverb and such, um, so it would come after your preamp. You've basically already created your sound, and I like to think that these time-based effects kind of add the icing to your sound and add a little bit of reverb, add a little bit of chorus. They're not really creating your main sound but you're adding a little bit of a spice to it again these aren't uh, rules that you have to follow and set in stone in fact your amplifier might even not even have an effects loop in it so you don't have any choice so therefore you might just plug into your pedals but consider that you might keep that same sort of order plug into your distortion and then maybe your wah-wah after that because you want your wah-wah signal to already be kind of created with your distortion if you have a boost pedal you might put that right at the very front of your line and then those three pedals would go uh, into your chorus unit and then your chorus unit might go into your delay unit because you want that created sound that's already chorused and distorted and have that be what's repeated or delayed and then add a little icing to it or ambience and then that would go into your reverb hopefully that makes sense again uh, like I was saying I don't want to be repetitive these aren't uh, situations where you absolutely have to do it this way because really what works for you works best and so uh, these, this might just be a good starting uh, starting point for you to, to start out if you've got a couple of pedals and you wonder, well, really what works, uh, you know, what, what should I do? And so that would be my suggestion to start out and line your pedals up this way first. At any rate, thanks for watching the video and we'll check you guys out in the next one. Take care, guys.